Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Brews and Booze Reviews with uh, Nick and Sarah. Uh, we are reviewing today a beer, uh, one that's very close to our hearts. It is called uh, Mad Tree Psychopathy IPA. It's a beer that's made right here in Cincinnati about, I mean, about a half an hour drive from our house. It's, uh, it's one of our favorites, about 10 bucks a six pack which is kind of the going rate for IPAs. And um, can't wait to get into this. You probably drink this on a, almost every weekend, would you say? Mm, that's my go-to beer, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> it is, oh, I forgot, it's 6.9%. Uh, and then the IBUs is somewhere on here. What does IBU mean? Um, IBUs kind of give you the uh, sense of the uh, bitterness of a beer. I'm not sure what it stands for, but I just know that it's kind of like the bitterness of the beer. I do not see it on here. IBU, International Bitter Units. There you go. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, IBUs is 60. So. Um, the one that we had, you remember when we went to Idaho and then there was that beer, it had a kind of fun, funny name to it, that I ordered, and like two other people ordered it, it had an IBU of like 110, and it was a lot more better than this is. You Did remember? I like it? Yeah, you loved it. I think, you wanted yeah. to take it, because <laughs> you ordered something you didn't really like. Oh, Hippie Hopped or something like that? Is that it? No. 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 I can't remember the name of it, but it was a brewery in um, Idaho we went to while we were on vacation last video. And if you guys still haven't seen that, I'll link it um, up here somewhere. You can check that out. It's a pretty cool video with lots of cool views. So we'll go ahead and uh, hop into this. Hop into this. Hop into this. <laughs> As you see, we're fully prepared for this video. We got our matchy glasses, matchy shirt. Not me, I'm just gonna ingest the beer. That's as uh, relevant as it's gonna get for me right now. Relevant? Relevant? Man, I poured that little. Oh my too lord. Too much head. See, mm -hmm. when you pour it directly, see, you just gave yourself a lot more too. Did you I? Pour it directly in, like you did just. Well, see, what you wanna do with. When you're pouring ah. beer, you want to pour it at an angle until the last That's couple seconds and then pour it on top to give it a little bit of head. It gave yours a little too much head. You going to switch? There you go. <laughs> I'll mm -hmm. with it. It'll go down eventually. Mm -hmm. I'll put that right there. So on the, the can... Half of that. No. Maybe not. So the can, on the can it says bright, citrusy, and floral. So we'll see if we get those notes on it. Bright, citrusy, and floral. Also, um, the hops that they use for this beer at Matry is Cascade, Chinook, and Centennial. And the malts is Two Row, Vienna, Caramel, 40L, Carapils. Okay, let me read that for you. Because I'm pretty sure you just butchered some of the names there. Cascade, Chinook, Centennial. Centennial, okay. Centennial. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know much about beer making. I'm more of a bourbon guy, but I just drink beer. I like craft beer. We both like craft beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's what the website says. I'll link the uh, the website down in the description below if you guys want to check out Mad Tree. If you're not from this mm -hmm. area, it's a very cool brewery. If you're visiting Cincinnati. Yeah, and it says at the top here. Um, at the top of the the can. It'll say, inspiring madness rooted in purpose. And then over here it says, madness in a can, embrace the madness, embrace the cans. Oh. What was that madness like three times? Because <laughs> of mad tree. Madness in a can, embrace the madness, embrace the cans. Embrace the cans. Oh, well, because they only uh I will embrace it. They only sell their beers in cans. I mean that's maybe what they mean. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Embrace the cans. That's like mm -hmm. typical IPA stuff. 
there's another brewery that kind of competes with um, Mad Trees called Rheingeist. That's also in Cincinnati and they only brew in cans too. It's a really nice brewery to go to. You just go there and um, you can order some really tasty pizza and mm -hmm. I'm not a, ta a pizza person at all. Um, people also bring their pets, which is my favorite thing. And they always change their selection of uh, beers that you can try there. Mm -hmm. All the ones that they make there, you see all the huge metal things that they have there. Right, you know right. What saying? <laughs> metal things? What are you talking about? This thing that they like, put the beer in. That they brew it in. What, what is that? Oh, the stills? <laughs> yeah, the stills they put it in. Just like bourbon, they put beer in stills to kind of, you know... Um, get the alcohol or the yeast working. Yep. And I don't know the whole process, but I kind of kind of do. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool place. Um, my brother actually lives right, right by it. Lucky bastard. <laughs> Shout out to you, Alex. Um, oh, wow. What? I just noticed something else here. This, what? This can is really cute. It says, tap in. It's pronounced. And it's talking about the type of beer, psychopathy. It says, psych... Wait, psych hop and the psych psych hop and the psychopathy. I'm just gonna call it psychopathy. There's no am in the middle of it. No, they're just trying to be clever. Psych hop and oh, what? I'm just blind. It says psych hop ah the psychopathy. There you go. So, what did you say we? It's like 10 o'clock at night. I'm tired. Yeah, it's late. Last minute review here. What do you, you can't do that to beer. I'm just trying to get the bubbles out. Is that what? Yeah. Oh. So That's I'm a gonna... whiskey thing, you whiskey man. <laughs> you can't do that to beer. You're messing I'm just, it up. I'm just trying to get the bubbles out because it's what really the, fuzzy. What the? <laughs> See that? It looks like a freaking, uh, like a root beer float. Why? Look at that, man. Why is it doing that? I don't Why know, I, is it I, weird too I, much? It's like creamy. I poured it weird. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go for it. Go. Well, we have to go for the nose first, actually. Oh. Yeah. Hops. Hops. I get floral is notes. It? I do get floral notes. Like, you know how Blanton's has some floral notes to it? This does too. No, I get hops and citrus. I get the citrus. I get no, some I get no flowers. orange peel. Nope. Orange peel? You just said citrus. Some lemon and orange peel. No, I get it, but I'm not, I don't know. Maybe my nose isn't as like in tune like yours. Perhaps, Mine. I don't know. I definitely get some flower, it's not, there's not much, but there is some flower garden vibe to it. I smell uh, lemon and hops. That's maybe just because I read the can, but you know, you put something in your mind, you're gonna be like, hmm, maybe, yeah, maybe. Maybe we should start not reading it at all. Okay, we'll do that next time. Like just go for the taste, set this to the side. Oh, I taste this, this, this. Oh, what are we supposed to taste? There you go, yeah. We can do that with the wines too, because the wine Cause if you read that, usually you... has the flavors on the back too, what you usually get. Yeah, because if you read that, you're gonna go, oh yeah, I taste that, yeah. I taste yeah. all of that, because that's, that's what you're supposed to taste. Right. Yeah. Yep, so. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Cheers. <coughs> what? Mine's flat. <laughs> tastes flat. Is yours flat? What's your, let me, let's switch. No, maybe yours not. Yours is flat. Yeah, mine's flat. Wait, hold on. No. I don't know. Nice <laughs> flat. That's you okay. The, you did this really weird thing when you cheers to me. What did <laughs> you I do? You were so weird. What did I do? You're like, like you're trying to get your thumbnail in. I'm I was sure. trying to. I was trying <laughs> to. <laughs> do you want to do that real quick? Get the thumbnail in? <laughs> he was like. <laughs> I was trying to do it without, like. Let's You're hit the thumbnail. You know? Oh my god. You can do I'll it real quick. Your thumbnail. Ah, ah. Oh <laughs> Alright, you wanna <laughs> get the thumbnail? You just wanna raise them up, smile. Or just sit here. Yeah. 
There you go. I hope what it turns is that? out. Check out the beer. You're feeling it already, aren't you? Yeah. I've had some wine before this. <laughs> yeah. So what notes do you get on the flavor? Um. I definitely get the citrus. For me, it's initially um, initially citrus for me. It's really weird because I initially taste hops. There's a little bit of lemon, floral. That's kind of herbal. Mhm. Mm that's what it is. It's, almost, it's not floral. It's herbal. It's almost grassy. That comes in like you taste hops. Is hops herbal? It's hops and herbs. Or hops. Herbs hops a is a plant. It's a. It's like a plant. Well, it's herbs like, are plants too. Yeah. It's herbal. It's grassy. Okay. It's whatever. Yeah. Planty. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways. I taste hops when I taste it, then I taste kind of like an herb, herb, lemony, and then hops at the end. Mm -hmm. Like for me, when I'm trying different drinks and things, like I get the initial taste, the meat, the middle taste, and then the ending, which is the part that kind of sits on your tongue after you've already swallowed it. Um, yeah, that's just how things work for me. So I got hops, herbal lemon, hops. Okay. Yeah, hop. So what I got is um, same as you. Hops, first taste, usually what happens with IPAs. And then I do get the lemon peel, kind of like a lemon rind. It's kind of bitter. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Not yeah. like lemon no. middle. It's lemon rind. Yeah. But it's kind of like the lemon rind that you get in a tea. Because you still, it's kind of, it's like if you like bit a into tea. it. Tastes like a tea? Not really. <laughs> you said, said it tastes like a tea. So it does? Well, Not like, really. you, know the herbs, <laughs> you, know, you know the herbs that you get in a tea? That's kind of what it reminds me of. The smell. And it's kind of bitter like a tea, sort of. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. The bitterness okay. of a tea. If there was a bitter lemon tea, that would be my, my middle taste. You got your hops. So as soon as it hits my tongue, it's hops. As it's, as I'm like swallowing it, it's that herbal lemon like I was saying and then that taste that it leaves is hops mm -hmm. it's kind of I make things complex a little bit so but it makes sense that's the best way that yeah. I can describe it yeah it's, it's, a, it's a really good beer it's good it's a good light IPA 6.9 that's not too high really for like an IPA like this uh, Rheingeist similar one is called Rheingeist Truth and I think that's 7.2 and that's a little more bitter than this. Like I, I have a hard time drinking Truth on a hot day, but this I could, I could swing it. Mhm. Mm yeah. To me, this is a lighter IPA. Yeah, it is definitely. It's not, no. Most people who are not IPA drinkers would smell that and go no. Yeah. Because a lot of people are afraid of the hops or don't like the bitterness taste either. So I think that. Mhm. Mm yeah. Another thing for you guys that only drink Miller Lite. Bud Light, Coors Light, all that light beer and Budweiser and all that. You that should stuff. still try different IPAs because there's IPAs out there that will be really light. For not you. just IPAs, but you should guys should get into your local uh, craft beers, your craft breweries. They have a lot of good stuff to offer. Not only IPAs, but they got lagers, they got Pilsners, German lagers, uh, sours if you're into that, um, and some ciders even, and mm -hmm. light beers. So. And I'll let you try it in flight, so you can try different ones. Right. Typically, about might, eight to nine dollars. You right. get like four different ones. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's the best way to do it. And if you, it, you do spend a little more. It's just, but you you supporting your local brewery, your uh, local town, local city, whatever. It's it's just it's just a cool thing to do instead of you know paying money to these big huge brewery co corporations, and as a bush. Um, so yeah, just support your local brews. Best thing to do, man. Working class guys like us too, work their asses off. So, just really good support them. A brewery just opened up right next to us, actually, about ten minutes away, called Sonder, and we'll probably um, up, or, uh, we'll probably review a beer from them on here too. And there's an IPA there that my dad hates IPAs, but there's an IPA there that he will drink and that he loves. You betcha. That's what it's called. You betcha. Yeah, we'll probably review that too pretty soon on on here. If we don't get any suggestions or That'd requests, really we'll just review what we want, and you can't stop us. 
to request something. Yeah. It is what it is. If they don't request anything, then we get to choose. Exactly. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. You can choose whatever you want. You guys got a... 17 people watching this. You got to... You got to <laughs> request something, man. If they even watch it, they probably just turn it on and they're like, man, this video is 40 minutes long. Well, this is, this is going to be a quick one. So, yeah, let's just wrap it up a little bit. So, I, I got two more things. Um, what score would you give this out of 100 for a beer? What would I give this personally? Personally. As an IPA lover? Yes. This is easily a 90. <laughs> that's kind of, that's funny. I'm thinking the same exact thing. Easily. 90. We'll give this a 90. And we've tried all sorts of IPAs. For example, He's not here anymore. <laughs> He's not here. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, there he is. Hi. I just got this from our local book store like a week ago. It's already poured. Look at us. We're well. We kind of decided to do this review last minute, but it's called Stargazer. It's a New England style IPA. Take a minute to appreciate how pretty that. I love can that label, is. man. Look at that label. That reminds me of like sitting out on a late night, looking at the stars with some naked mermaid. Some naked out. mermaid. Um, it says it is written in the stars. Yeah. That's the port here, and that's actually the, the brewery you went to in Idaho. It's called McCall Brewing Company. Oh, that class. That's, that's good stuff. But how would you compare that to this? Mm -hmm. mm. That's lighter. That's lighter, even lighter than the psychopathy. This is 8.1%. But in taste. Yeah, that's insane, isn't it? So that's like 1% and more ABV than Tychopathy, but Tychopathy is slightly more bitter. What do you think? This one's more bitter. What? Yeah. This one's lighter. Mm hmm. I don't know. This has kind of a distinctive aftertaste, and I can put my finger on it. I can. What is it? <laughs> Classic Sarah comedy. <laughs> yeah, they're both good. But if you guys want us to review this, we will review this too. Next video, whatever. But uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up. It's getting late here. so. What is that man in the background? <laughs> is that Superman? I don't know. <laughs> I can't make out his logo. I don't know. What is that? It's, no, it's like, it's, 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 like, it's, like, it's like a cloud of raindrops. That's a guy. Yeah, I know, but this, that's what his logo is. This one's from Connecticut. So, your craft beers are everywhere. I mean... Everywhere, and it's getting even more. Oh, yeah. we. I mean, for, for God's sake, we went to... Microbreweries. Yes. For God's sakes, we went to Idaho some random town called Donnelly and there was a craft brewery 30 minutes away McCall Brewing Company and there's one where I across the street from that too where there's more cows than people <laughs> there are more cows than people for sure that's my ideal place <laughs> as an animal lover yeah <laughs> I want a cow <clears throat> so we'll wrap it up we'll see you guys next week thanks for tuning in and make sure to subscribe Cheers. 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 Thank you.